G'day. My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number one of The Fine Art of Destruction. I'd like to invite you to come on a journey with me as I use art to distract myself from a couple of issues that I'm facing, chronic pain and also depression. A couple of years ago, I actually injured my leg quite badly, which resulted in me having seven operations on my leg. After I had those operations, I had quite a few complications, which then resulted in me having six more procedures on my spine and four of those procedures actually being operations. And having all those complications and not being able to move properly really affected my mental health quite badly, which is a bit of a, a weird one for me because pretty much my whole life, I actually didn't believe in mental health. Um, I was always the, the, the life of the, the party. I was the party man. Um, but being in this rut, like it's, it's put me in a hole that I, uh, like, I just can't get out of. And being in that hole has really affected me so badly that I've actually ended up in mental health care on five separate occasions. And when I was in the mental health care on, on my last admission, I thought to myself, I need to do something a little bit different. And I noticed that they had a art therapy program. So I decided to join in on it. And when I was doing the art therapy, I noticed that I wasn't concentrating on, on my pain and I wasn't having all those negative thoughts. It was because I was being distracted by the art. And that's why I decided to call my channel The Fine Art of Distraction. Now, I know a lot of you out there probably suffer from chronic pain and depression, and if I could give you any advice, give art a go. You don't have to be good at it. I mean, I'm not all that good at it, but I'm enjoying it. And because I'm enjoying it, it is distracting me from having those negative thoughts and also focusing on the chronic pain. So, yeah, if you're in one of those categories, give it a go. It can't hurt. I mean, hey, it's actually pretty good for the hurt. There's one artist out there that is very much a massive inspiration to myself and a bit of a mentor for me. And her name is Angie Mason. Angie Mason has her own art channel called Angie Mason Fluid Art. And I'd invite you to actually go check out her page because watching her do her pores and manipulating her cells and the colors that she chooses, it's, it's like watching magic right before your eyes. So please go and watch Angie Mason Fluid Art. And also Angie, thank you for giving me the push and the drive and, the, and also the confidence to, to get this channel started. Being episode number one, I decided to go big. And I went and got myself a 40 by 40 inch canvas. And that's, that's massive. Because <laughs> normally you're doing pieces on 12 by 12, 14 by 14 inch. But this is 40 by 40 inch, so it's quite huge. And I'm actually gonna do a technique called the kissing cup, but I'm gonna do it slightly different. I'm gonna do a triple kissing cup. Now, about a month ago, I saw Jeremy and Lee from Massey Art Studios do a triple kissing cup, but there's two of them on that show. And I thought to myself, how am I gonna do that? I don't have a third arm. And Shortly after that was aired, my bearded mate, Jack from JHA Art Studios, he actually came up with the triple kissing cup technique himself. So basically what, what he done was got three cups, joined them together using um, hot glue, and that hot glue acted like, like a silicon sort of base, which had a bit of flex to it. So he was able to turn all three cups in all at the same time. And I thought 
I'm gonna give that a go, but slightly different. So what I did was I got three little bottles. I too also glued them together using hot glue, but I actually secured it and fastened it by using um, electrician's tape because I didn't want them to move. Because what I'm wanting to do is once I um, laid the paint inside, I'm wanting to then basically flip over all three bottles at once and then for the paint to come out all, all together and then as it's hitting the canvas I'm wanting that, that paint to basically kiss and that's where the the name um, kissing cup comes from so um, I asked you to go check out Angie Mason fluid art channel but I'll also ask you to check out um, Massey Art Studios and also JHA Art Studios. Um, all three channels are amazing. Um, you won't be disappointed in what you see. And now I, I like to say thank you for joining me on episode number one of The Fine Art of Distraction. And I finally get to say, if you like my page, give us a like, subscribe, and also share it with your mates and thank you this is the fine art of distraction alrighty so I'll just go through the colors and the products that I'll be using in today's pour um, with the base coat I actually combined these two global colors I used 75% cool blue and 25% black Mixing those two at that ratio did create a really nice dark um, navy blue, which I find is perfect for a galaxy pour, and, and that's what we're actually doing today. The, these paints are then mixed two to one with Floetrol, two being Floetrol and one being the combination of the two paints there. With the pigments, there's quite a few there. There's actually seven this little piggy pigments, one Pearl X and one Paper Mill. The colors that I'm using are Techno, Boogie, Inferno, Groovy, Rave, Funk, Grunge, and with the Pearl X, that's actually an Interference Gold, and the Paper Mill is actually a, a color called Diamond. Now, I don't know if you can sort of see how shimmery that is in there, but I'm hoping that mixing that with the interference gold will actually sort of create like a bit of a, a misty sort of star effect. Um, and being a, a galaxy pour, um, I'm hoping that that actually does work. <laughs> All these pigments are actually mixed with Liquitex matte gel and then also, flow troll.
Okay, now we're just going to pop some air bubbles. Alrighty, here we go. Pour number one for episode number one of The Fine Art of Distraction. Pop some of those air bubbles. So far, I'm actually stoked with how that poured out. <laughs> really, really, really happy. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna tilt and, and stretch it out. So. I actually like it how it is. Um, it might take a little bit more to stretch up there, but I actually like the negative space. So I'm actually happy with <laughs> the space pour. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time. <laughs>